So, you want to know how to add a texture to default cube in Blender EV 2.9? Well, go ahead and grab a cheese grater and just rub default cube on there a little bit. After that, he'll have a pretty interesting texture. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at what I just said. I'm going to go ahead and go grab default cube here, make sure he's selected. I'm going to go to the material tab here, and I've done this before. It's the same process practically, it just looks a little bit different, but people asked for it, so. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and go to the material tab, like I said, and hit this little button next to base color, and then select image texture right there. Now we're going to hit uh, new, or actually we're going we're to hit open, and so, I'm sorry. We're going to hit open, and we're going to look for our image uh, in our file browser. You see, I found my image here. I'm going to open this bad boy up, and I'm going to go ahead and hit open image. And uh, what this is going to do now is you can see that nothing changed at all. But when I go to material tab, you can see that we now have that image on there, which is just that nice little purple kind of whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's how you do it right there. But the issue is that, of course, this looks weird on the cube. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this on a plane real quick. I'll just add a plane in, um, and we'll use the same material. And there you can see now it looks uh, the way that it's supposed to. Uh, and that is our image on there. You can go ahead and edit this and move it around and change where the like image is at on the cube and on the plane. If we go ahead and go and open this left hand side, just split that in two. And then we go ahead and change the uh, viewport to the, uh, da -da -da -da, the UV editor here. And then we go ahead and open up that purple image that we have here. Now, if we go back to the viewport and hit tab to go into edit mode, you can see that if I were to go to face select mode, we can select different faces. And all these faces are the uh, little pieces over here on the left hand side. And you can go ahead and uh, hit U to UV uh, unwrap this. You can hit UV unwrap there. You can go ahead and just do smart UV project. Uh, and then we can have uh, these, all these move around and everything you see, we can move these all over the place, which is very nice. And the same thing with the, uh, the plane over here as well. We can go ahead and uh, uh, hit U, Smart UV Project, and then now we can uh, hit S to scale this or double tap A to select everything and, and S to scale this and move it around where we want to. Now, obviously, this cube is, this plane is a square, and the image is a rectangle, so it's not going to fit perfectly. But you can see we have some that looks very nice like that. So that's how you go ahead and move it around. R to rotate, G to move, of course. Yeah, that's it right there. That's how you change and add an image to a texture in Blender 2.9. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.